For today's video, we're going to talk about perforation mode in Lightburn. And you would use perforation mode if maybe you're making your own greeting cards and you need to put a folding line down the center of the card uh, or in multiple places. Uh, or maybe you're making something that you want your customers to punch out or your family members, whoever you're sending it to. And you can do that with some thin wood. And uh, we'll go through both of those. Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. So we're just going to start by grabbing a square. We're going to drag out a rectangle. We're not measuring. And then click your selector tool. And we will draw a line down the center of this rectangle. Click your selector tool. Select your line, shift and select your rectangle, and then center. So both of these cuts would be on the same uh, layer. Now this is just for demonstration purposes. This is certainly too low a speed and too high a power. Uh, I've got a 40 watt laser, so it'd be too much if we're doing card stock. But whatever works for you, uh, use that. So you want to select your line. Double click on your layer, and here you can see perforation mode. So you want to turn that on, and the default is 0.1 millimeters for cut and skip, which works fine if you're dealing with cardstock. So when you click away, you can scroll in. Remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down, move the entire canvas around. You can't see those skips, but if you select it and then go to the preview, scroll in on that, you will see those skips. Uh, and the red is just the traveling of the laser without cutting. And you can see that by turning on this show traversal moves at the bottom. Okay, we will just uh, get rid of this. And let's say you're doing some punch outs. Um, I don't know what you would be doing it for, but I've seen other people do it. And they just send small parts, wooden parts, uh, for some kind of kit. Well, if you're doing that, we'll just grab an apple. So if we're going to send a sheet of apples to our customer, uh, maybe we sold them a tree at some point and they need an apple. A bunch of apples. So select it. We'll go to the grid array. And you just want enough separation so you can... Uh, Give them room to punch out. We'll just put one millimeter. And we'll just make a sheet of apples. Uh, once you use the grid array, everything is grouped together. So you'd want to ungroup. So you can select one part and see what size you have. So you'll know uh, how much cut versus how much skip you want to use in your perforation. So select everything, go back to your layer, double click, and we'll just say a four millimeter cut and a 0.2 millimeter skip. Okay, we'll scroll back in on this preview. And you can see that every four millimeters, there would be a skip and that would be the portion that you or the customer would have to, uh, to punch out. Uh, now, early on in Lightburn, this would, this would have been the only way to do that. Uh, now, uh, I forget which version it came in. I think maybe 1.5, maybe sooner. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but there's a tabs and bridges function. And it's in the same, it's in the layer, it's here. And uh, we won't make this video about that. I'll do one later, so look for that, and we'll go over that in detail. Uh, but um, in that, you can specify the number of skips you want per object, which uh, will certainly be helpful in some situations. But you can, uh, I'm sure you'll want to use both, and you can decide which one works best for you. Uh, so look for that video soon. I'll, I'll try to get it out as quick as possible. Okay, so you have your sheet. You certainly want to put uh, 
a uh, piece of wood around it. Uh, so depending on what size wood you're using, uh, go with that. And then you can just group everything together. Cut that and send that as a full sheet. Uh, that's all I know about perforation mode at the moment. If I learn more, I'll certainly let you know. Uh, and if you know more, please let me know. It does help me as a newbie for, for the viewers to uh, give me tips and uh, tell me when I'm getting off track. It helps me. And then I turn around and uh, let other viewers know about it. So it's, it's appreciated. So if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, it does help the channel grow, and it'll help me to keep staying in the shop and making these videos, and I would really appreciate it. So just check back often for new videos. You folks take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.